very fun vlog today because we are going to Park City to see Aiden's family. I'm actually starting this on Thursday before Christmas, which is on Saturday, and we are currently driving to Park City, Utah from Dallas. And for some context, we decided to drive because one, we have always wanted to do this drive. We've always wanted to drive through New Mexico, but Aiden doesn't get like a ton of time off of work. And so we thought it would be fun to take the time while he does have a couple of days off just to drive up. So we're driving up, we're stopping in Albuquerque and then tomorrow we're gonna do the drive up to Park City. You can hear the wind. We just got into New Mexico, so it's extremely windy right now. And so we rented this car and we're just making the drive. So it's gonna be really fun. Aiden's currently pumping gas right now while I record this clip. We've been driving since about 10 a.m. this morning. It's about five o'clock here. So we have just a few more hours until we get to Albuquerque. We've made great time. It's been great weather, which is nice. And I wanted to say that I'm coming with Aiden's family and I haven't really vlogged a ton with them before. So if I'm a bit shy to vlog, in front of them i'm going to try to do some voiceover clips but i'm still going to try to show what we're doing they all ski so we're going to do a lot of skiing i don't ski i might do a lesson and try to ski but for the most part i'm just excited to have a white christmas it's snowing a lot so i'm hoping our drive or i'm praying our drive goes smoothly tomorrow because aiden's used to driving in snow because he's from the northeast his family's not from utah they just all ski that's why we're coming to see utah i'm really excited i'm just excited to have a white christmas you guys know i am from texas i've always been in texas so it's nice to just get a little bit of something different for christmas and get to spend time with his family because we haven't seen them in quite some time but it is so pretty here here i'm gonna show you this is my view right now while Aiden's pumping gas. It's just crazy there. You can see so much out there. I do think we want to come back and try to visit Santa Fe when we have a bit more time because we don't have a ton of time to make stops or anything. One day we will do that because I've always wanted to see Santa Fe and stay in like a cool Airbnb and all that. But I think he's going to go in and get some snacks because we have a bit more of our drive. I'm excited to take you guys along with me though. It's going to be fun. At one point in New Mexico, the sunset got so pretty. So we ended up randomly pulling off on the side of the road and just taking some photos and watching it because it was so, so beautiful. We just got here to Albuquerque. We made it to our hotel. It's like 7.30, which was nice. I felt like that was such an efficient day of driving, but I am ready to take a hot shower. Every time I'm like in the car for so long, just feels so good to change, get in PJs. And because we stopped here in Albuquerque, I felt like we had to get Mexican food, but we kind of wanted to stay in. So we just ordered some food food to come which will be nice to just hang out we're gonna watch a movie and just chill for the rest of the night we want to get started pretty early tomorrow morning driving just because it is gonna snow we don't really want to be driving at night so gonna get an early night get a good meal in very hungry so also basically all this skincare that i brought on this trip was from tula these are some of my favorites i have their cleanser i've been using this exfoliator just because my skin's been really dry lately to get dry skin off and then i love this nourishing face mask because it's just really thick it's like a mask you leave on and then you just wipe off and then just their normal cream so i have that and then also my little retinol eye cream too so these are all my my cold weather favorites so i'm gonna take a nice shower use these and unwind for the night <laughs> I also want to say that we have a room with two beds because they didn't have any king size beds available. So this is just the only thing that was available. Aiden just went to go grab our food, which I'm really excited about. Here's tonight's dinner. Aiden got a quesadilla. I got taquitos, which I don't normally get, but I just wanted a few of these. I just got extra if we wanted some. We got some chips and then some salads, but definitely not the healthiest meal. Just a little bit more unhealthy than I anticipated, but it's okay. I just woke up and I was looking at how pretty the sunrise is with the mountains. And then I looked over here and there's a double rainbow. You can't really see the other one, but there's a rainbow on the other side. It's so pretty. It's about seven o'clock though. This view is so beautiful. Here's today's outfit. I'm wearing these pants, which are from Target. I actually slept in these last night. My same boots from Steve Madden. Zara scarf, and then just this plain tank top, which is from Cotton On. It is currently day two of our road trip. Aiden is in a bathroom right now. We are in Cuba, New Mexico which doesn't have a lot of food options. So I think we're stopping at McDonald's, which honestly I could really go for a hash brown. So it sounds kind of good, but we have quite a drive today. Again, a nine hour drive. And I think we are gonna encounter snow. So I'm just praying everything goes smoothly with that. But it has been the most beautiful drive going through New Mexico. It's so pretty with all the mountains. And then because it's raining today, there's all these clouds over the mountains. Aiden actually has a doctor's appointment too, like a telehealth appointment. So he's gonna do that. I think we're just gonna stay here while he does that. And then 
We realized when we started to get into Utah that we were actually gonna pass through Arches National Park. So we decided to stop by when it was sunset and it was so beautiful and honestly so much more fun because it was so spontaneous. So we caught it at the tail end right before it got dark. And it was honestly one of my highlights of the trip. It was so beautiful to get to watch. And then we also ended up driving at night in the snow and I was really nervous, but thankfully Aiden was the one driving and I love him so much. One of the reasons why I married him is because he is so calm and collected under pressure and just always makes you feel safe so i was really thankful that he was driving because he got us there and then once we got there i ended up just unpacking i always have to unpack whenever we stay somewhere for longer than a couple of days put all my clothes away took a shower and then got ready for bed we made it here safely the last leg of the trip was definitely a little bit nerve-wracking but thankfully aiden is extremely chill i'm the one who gets freaked out when things get a little bit crazy but he was really good at driving he is brushing his teeth right now and then we're gonna head to bed wake up at christmas i'm so excited we have this balcony right here so we'll get to see out what it looks like in the morning but i think it's gonna be really really pretty it was a pretty drive-in and i also think it's gonna snow tonight so we'll have a white christmas which will be super sweet but after that driving i am ready for bed so i'll catch you guys tomorrow Happy Christmas Day! It is Christmas today. We've just been having a slow morning of opening some gifts and then also having some breakfast. We're here. I'll show you guys a little tour where we're staying later, but I think we're about to go for a walk. So I just got bundled up. It's actually not as cold as I thought it would be. It's like 30 degrees today, which honestly isn't that bad, especially when I put on my puffer coat. I'm going to be super warm, but I'll show you guys a little outfit of the day. It is so pretty out here. This is our view from Aiden and I's room and then Aiden's brother is staying right here i'm so excited i'm so excited to go explore we're gonna go walk around and see what's around here so i'll show you guys a little outfit of today <laughs> this scarf i showed you guys in a haul it's from madewell and then my turtleneck is from zara my jeans are also from zara my beanie's from madewell as well and then my boots are just these little blundstone boots and then i think i'm just gonna throw on these mittens that i got from urban outfitters so so we ended up taking a walk through our neighborhood that we were staying in, which was a really beautiful area. It wasn't super crowded either. I think it was a lot of people who actually lived in Park City and it was so beautiful. We just walked around on the trail, saw all the ponds, which had a lot of ducks in it, which was really cute. And then we just decided to keep on walking and we went into the historic Park City area where there's like the main street and all the really cute homes. This was one of the most beautiful areas. I loved getting to see it. We went here quite a few times throughout our trip because it's just so quaint i ended up picking up a little christmas blend coffee because it was christmas on this day and just getting to explore a bit i bet you miss cash don't you i do jamie keeps sending me photos i keep seeing dogs here playing in the snow i'm like oh Oh my goodness. Yeah, you know, my news with my house. But they were here quite a while, but yeah. Tracy was all wound up, you know, was all excited. It's about six o'clock. We're about to eat dinner. It's been such a fun day. We did so much stuff, mostly just explored a lot. And obviously it's Christmas, so nothing's really open, but we just walked around, saw everything. Tonight we're about to eat some turkey pasta, which sounds really good. And then we're gonna go around and look at all the Christmas lights because I think it gets really cute at night. Everything's like lit up and pretty. So I'll get some clips of that. Then we're just gonna chill and have a nice little game night and I'll just hang out. Again, it's Christmas, so just having kind of like a chill day. We also went and tried to return the rental car today because we have it till tomorrow but they're skiing tomorrow so they wanted to do it tonight but you can't do returns when no one's there after hours so we're gonna have to go back tomorrow which is totally fine we actually got to see such a pretty sunset though got to see salt lake city so i still think it was worth it but i am really hungry ready to eat some dinner so oh i also showed my grandma got an iphone for christmas and so i was facetiming her which was so sweet because it's always really tricky to try to facetime her because we always have to use like her ipad or something and it never works out but now that she has an iphone it was super efficient it was so nice to get to see her so i'm excited that she has that now to do that more but it was really sweet to get to do that after dinner we ended up going back onto main street and we just drove tonight because it was quite cold because it was snowing but we wanted to see all the christmas lights and everything open and it was so beautiful just to get to walk around honestly felt like i was living in a hallmark movie it was so much fun It 
is the next day and it is the most beautiful snow day today. It is so pretty outside. We've done a few things this morning. So essentially the rest of Aiden, oh, I just unbuttoned my shirt. The rest of Aiden's family was going to ski today, but the snow, I guess, is just so intense or the wind. So the conditions aren't super great. So we're just hanging out. We're just gonna walk around, maybe go into town because it is looking like everything's pretty much open today. So we might go into town. We're supposed to return our rental car today, but I don't know if that's gonna happen because it's in Salt Lake City. And I just don't know if driving in this is the best idea, but if it slows down later, I think we might take it back this evening. They did happen to take a little tour this morning. I'll insert that here, a tour of the Airbnb that we're staying at because it is so nice. It's so cozy. It's like the perfect size for four to five people, I would say. And so I'll have it linked down below, but I'll cue that here. Here's a little overview. So when you walk in, we have the kitchen table and then the most beautiful balcony over here and the snow is really coming down so it's just so pretty outside it's nice because there's really not a lot around here too it's just a bunch of other different condos but it's so pretty outside i think i'm going to try to go out while it's snowing in a bit because it just looks so beautiful outside and then this is the tv area it has a giant tv and then what's really cool about this place is the ceilings are so high just really cozy and then here's the kitchen which is nice and big you also have a gas stove which is nice and then you just walk through this hallway i'm not going to show everyone's rooms but right here this is the bathroom that Aiden and i have been using i need to put this laundry away and then it's nice because there's also a washer and dryer in here there's a bathroom there's a mirror and then over here is where Aiden and i have been staying so this is our room which is just super cozy really comfy beds and then we also have our own little balcony, which is nice. And it's really pretty out here too. You can like hardly see anything out there, but. And then we also just went out and took some photos and took some videos because it is so pretty outside. I just took them on my phone because I don't want to take my big camera in case it got wet, but I'm just watching it outside. I know I'm acting like I've never seen snow before, but I am from Texas, so we don't get beautiful snow like this. I mean, we got a pretty intense ice storm last year, but it wasn't like this, like this beautiful. And so I'm just really soaking it in, but I don't know what the rest of the day holds. I guess I will just vlog and share what we end up doing because I'm not really sure. For today's outfit, I'm just wearing these jeans that are from Madewell, and then my jacket is from Zara. And then my beanie is just one of these Carhartt beanies. They're like my favorite brand. I got it from Dick's Sporting Goods, but I think it's really cute. So we decided to walk back into Main Street again, just to kind of actually get to stop in all the shops because it was after Christmas and everything was open. We went to a coffee shop that had an extremely long line, but it was so worth it. It was called Pink Elephant. Super amazing coffee, I'd highly recommend. We both got these winter lattes that had a little bit of spice to them. exfoliated my face so my face is super red but we just came back from a very long day of walking we ended up walking into town and just looking at all the shops and going inside since they were open it snowed pretty much all day so we were all so cold we stopped by the market we're gonna make a little charcuterie board have some wine have a chill night i just changed into this hoodie and then my sweatpants i'm nice and cozy just gonna eat some dinner chill all that good stuff so it is monday today and i am so excited because i actually have one of my christmas presents today aiden actually booked me a massage at it's called the montage spa in deer valley so i'm going there today at one to get a massage which i'm so excited for it's like my favorite thing ever it's the only thing i wanted for christmas so i'm so excited but it's another day of snow this is what it looks like outside right now it's so pretty they were also going to go skiing again today but just with the snow conditions and everything, they couldn't ski again. So it is such a pretty day outside. I'm so excited to go today. I'll definitely get some clips while I'm there, but I think he did a 90 minute massage. So I'm so excited. I always do like the shorter one. So it's exciting to get to do a longer one. And then I was actually gonna get a facial too, but I guess it was cheaper to do it on two different days. So tomorrow I'm getting a facial, which is really exciting. because I've never gotten a facial before either. So, so pumped. This is the thing I've been most excited for. Of course, it's like a ski town. I'm most excited to get a massage, but... Before the spa, I ended up going snowshoeing with Aiden and his mom at the Nordic Center at Sundance Mountain, and it was so much fun. There were also a lot of people cross-country skiing, so it was so fun just to kind of get a little bit of a workout in and see some pretty sights again, and it was also snowing quite a bit today, so it was just really, really fun and also really beautiful.
Aiden booked me an alpine massage. I believe that's what I got at the Deer Valley Spa at the Montage and it was so nice. I would highly recommend such a fun experience. Definitely a nice one, but definitely a good gift. And then afterwards we ended up just chilling by the fire because Aiden's mom had come with us too, just because it was a bit of a drive and a little bit of a snowy drive to get there. So they ended up just waiting for me while I was getting my massage. We are back from our little excursion. My spa day was quite nice. I would highly recommend. It was very fancy. And then we stopped by the grocery store. We're gonna have some dinner. Aiden's mom and his brother Ryan are on a walk right now, but we stayed back because we just kind of wanted to chill. But that was so relaxing. Would definitely recommend. Now we're just hanging out. <laughs> So this was the highlight of the trip for me. We actually ended up going snowmobiling, which was so much fun. We left super early in the morning around like 6.30 and we had a two hour tour at Backcountry Snowmobiling in Colville, Utah, which was so worth the drive because the guides were amazing. It was so much fun. I really didn't expect that much from this, but I just rode on the back of Aiden's and it was so, so, so much fun. And so we did this for a couple of hours. I was quite chilly because it was quite cold, but definitely worth it because we also got to see some moose and a lot of other wildlife like elk and everything. And it was just definitely the highlight for me. had the most fun morning we went snowmobiling which was so much fun i had never been snowmobiling before but it was so crazy i just rode on the back of aiden's because i didn't really want to drive but it was like 10 degrees we woke up at 6 a.m had to be there by eight but it took a long time because there's just been so much snow on the road that you have to drive really slow but we got there and it was like a two-hour tour we went through a company called backcountry snowmobiling and it was so much fun i really didn't think too much about it like i didn't know if it was gonna be that awesome but you got the most incredible views and we also saw moose, which was so cool. And we saw elk too, so you just saw so much. And I feel like I'm still de-thawing though, because it was so cold. I made myself a nice hot coffee, but that was amazing. If you guys are coming here, I think it was about an hour from Park City. I would highly recommend it. It's definitely a bit pricey, but it was so cool, so amazing. The guides there were awesome too, so I'll have them linked down below. They just did such a great job. And I felt like everyone was at different levels, but it was still fun for everyone, so. That was so much fun and my skin is so bad right now. I'm just letting everything breathe because I'm headed back to the spa today, which is so much fun. I'm getting a facial for the first time and then I didn't really get to use a lot of like the hot tub, the pool facility, all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna bring my swimsuit and just have myself a nice little afternoon. I think that Aiden and his brother are gonna hang out at the hotel too while we're there, but it has just been the most lovely trip i feel like i have been living in narnia this past week and it's just been so much fun and i think traveling and coming to places like this it really makes you appreciate the beauty of everything around you and you know seeing all these things i've never seen a moose like wild before it was just so crazy and so cool and yeah that's why i'm really thankful to get to come on this trip because it's been so sweet just getting to see so many things that i've never really seen before and people were all so nice and sorry my head is so itchy but i would definitely recommend if you're gonna do that to bundle up i had like three layers on i still have three layers on but my hands were numb by the end like they were so cold but it's about noon i need to start getting ready to go there this afternoon those clips that i got were on aiden's brother's gopro which was so cool they turned out so smooth and everything which was nice i'm so happy you brought that because it was nice to have those clips because i definitely would not have been able to record while i was on the back so it was really bumpy but so much fun my facial honestly was even better than the massage it was so nice i think especially because it was my first one i just learned a lot about skincare and my skin type and again i would highly recommend back from our day today i went and got my facial which was really great but she did so many extractions so my face has so many red dots on it right now which will hopefully go away but it was so nice i can just feel how much more moisturized my face is now it feels so nice and then we just hung out afterwards at 
the hotel, but it's about six o'clock and I don't really think we're gonna do much more for the rest of the night. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and close off the vlog here. We have one more day tomorrow, but I'm possibly meeting up with a friend and then also I think we're just having like a chill day. So I just figured I would go ahead and end off the vlog here. I wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. I'll have all the links to everything that I can link down below for like what we did and how we signed up for everything. And then also anything that I was wearing, I'll try to link down below too. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you guys so much. I hope you guys had a great Christmas and then also just an upcoming happy new year. I'm really excited to get back home and just start doing some more new year routine videos and all that jazz. I have a lot of like decluttering videos coming up and all that. So if that's something you're interested in, feel free to stick around. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.